Hey, it's Tim here. As it turns out, when you make content, losing your voice is a pretty bad thing. So for the last few days, for the last week or so, I've actually been unwell, and as a result, I lost my voice. Um, now, previous to the last video I did on 22.1 coming soon, I also lost my voice because of another reason. I had been ill and I had a bunged up nose and for basically a month you could hear that in everything I recorded. So I didn't make content, I've just been unwell. That's the flu season, it's the cold season, that's what happens. But what was good about that is it made me think about the non-content side of things. So when people send comments, when people give feedback, how do we do that in a better way on the channel? So I put a bit of thought into that as after all I couldn't record anything so I put some time into the non-content side of things and as you can see I get tons of comments all the time lots of it is just feedback some of it good some of it negative things I can improve on but what was really clear to me is that the comments in YouTube are pretty tough to manage um, in essence the comments I can sort of see and the back end as a, as a sort of content owner just come in as a stream of content it's really hard for me to sort of go back in time and um, reply to something, see a narrative, and even sometimes have a back and forth discussion with people. The only way I can really do that is reply to their comment and then remember to come back into YouTube Studio, check the content, and then make sure everything's uh, set up correctly. So I wanted to set up a better process to enable people to suggest feedback, but also have that discussion go on in a way that helps the content become better, but also allows you to suggest things like fixes, um, bugs, maybe you see a problem in some of the content I'm making, maybe you've noticed an issue in YouTube and you want to let me know. I wanted to create a standardized way of doing that. Now YouTube doesn't have that built in, so as ever with most things on YouTube, you have to retrofit a solution around it. So what I've done is I've set up a very basic system and going forward what I'll do is the first comment on every single video will have a link to this feedback uh, area that I'm about to show you and that will allow you to give any feedback um, about any video and also suggest videos going forward. The reason I'm putting this here is because we get a lot of comments um, suggesting I make content on something else. So if I uh, just go in here and um, let's uh, search for, uh, let's say server. If I go in here and I just type server, okay, people will ask, very quickly, you know, please do some videos on Tableau Server. Now that's a great suggestion. I really like suggestions like that. Um, and I am recording some content on server, but what I'm always interested in is the specific because Tableau Server is a huge topic. Now, what doesn't help is that that comment is actually on this uh, video about functions. And so if I get a lot of comments on a particular video not related to the topic, it starts to make the comments for that video a little bit tricky. So what I want to try and do is to create a space for people to um, send feedback and have that feedback actually go on a journey that makes sense and then you're able to track that journey and see the outcome of that. Now, this is not some sort of commitment from me that I'll make a video on everything that goes down this process, but it does help um, you know, refine what comes in because no doubt um, this isn't the only user who's asked about server. If I keep going down, I do get lots of sometimes questions. And as you can see, I do reply to comments. If you've ever made a comment on the channel, you might not be aware. I do see every single one of them and I do reply to them. So you can see here, I've replied to pretty much every single comment. And I probably reply more to comments than I spend time on Twitter, in forums. It's probably the most active place um, that I spend time. The YouTube comments just generate so much more conversation. It's also interesting, useful, and challenges some of my thinking. And sometimes I'll even comment under my personal account, not just uh, my YouTube account. So um, what I wanna try and do is have this sort of narrative live somewhere where if three months later I wanna get back into a discussion, I don't have to remember to search that topic and I can go back to it. There's no way for me to sort of um, track things. So what I've done is I've created a new page and it looks like this. And this is a very simple page. Um, you don't have to worry about the URL. It'll be at the bottom of every video. And it'll also be the first comment on every video, along with some questions I might ask for that specific video. And when you go to it, you'll see something like looks like this. Um, it's essentially a feature suggestion page. And it's run by a service called Canny. And um, they are basically just creating a, a mechanism for me to collect feedback from you as if you're the user and I'm collecting feedback uh, from you about the product or the product being a video in this case. So 
Um, when you go to this page, you can do a couple of things. Let me actually use it as an everyday user so you can see what it's like if you're not logged in as me. So you'll go to this page and you can see there's already two items. What I really like about this is that when you click on this particular item, I've actually migrated this question from a previous service that I was using and I trialed for about a week. Um, you can see the narrative of the discussion and you can also see what I've done. I've acknowledged the post and if you also like this, you can go in and you know vote it up. And when you go to vote it up, it does ask you to log in. When you go to post, it does ask you to log in. I think the login is an important one because I don't want this to turn into a spam area. Um, also logging in means that it's gonna reduce um, the abuse because if for example someone does abuse a system or is abusive to someone or doesn't you know follow sensible community guidelines then what I can do is I can sort of ban that user and then they have to go through the process of creating a whole nother account to get back in and that just creates a little bit of friction for everyone to make sure that they're actually using this service properly I know it's not ideal it's not perfect I would love to have like a, a no login system I'd love if Tableau maybe offered a single uh, sign-on system so that I could just use that in place of this. But nonetheless, um, this is what it is. So um, they do support quite a range of different social media logins, as well as just using your email. Uh, I think that's an important step because I do need a mechanism to sort of reach back out to you and for you to see the feedback that I'm giving, but also other people might give and they might support your idea. It also means that when I do then make a video, you get an email notification when I mark the video as done. So that's a sort of super important thing. So um, if we just go back to uh, the previous page, let's just go back here. We can go ahead and suggest a video. So let's say we want to make a video about Tableau Online and the video is how does Tableau Online work? And then that's a simple title of the video. Notice that as I do that, it searches previous suggestions. So as you start to type, it's already doing the search for you. And to give you an example of this, let's say you wanted to give a different type of feedback. Let's say you wanted to give general feedback about the way I make content. And you wanted to say that the music on my videos is maybe too loud. What you could say is music is too loud. And what it will do is actually search uh, the database of questions. There is open, closed, and fixed as well. So if a past discussion has happened, and it's been closed and you don't see in the suggestions, when you go to create a title that matches that closely, you'll see it come up here on the right hand side. And so instead of having to type a new question, you can just go to that question and you can add to the discussion. You can see it was previously closed, then it was marked as under review again because I've changed a few things and essentially I've changed my perspective on something here. And you can then go in, leave a comment, even add an image, screen image, a screenshot, and then that comes to me. So. That's pretty much uh, the suggestions. Now, if we go back to suggestions page, I'm gonna leave the suggestion page running for a while. And what you'll see is that over time, things will come from suggestions once they've gone under review and they go into a roadmap of, okay, this is actually now a really nice video. We'll work together. Maybe I'll, I'll sort of put something in the comments. Say, okay, I've taken this video on, we're gonna make it. And then we'll go over here and the roadmap will have um, essentially the videos that are about to be made. So just to give you an idea of what that looks like from my perspective, the roadmap is essentially this page where you have planned, in progress and complete. Because I haven't done any, you can't see anything public yet. But anything planned is essentially a video I've decided to take on. And anything in progress is something I'm making right now. In progress essentially means the video should come out within the next two to three weeks. And then complete is a video that's live. And what I'll normally do is also share a link to that video. So I wanna try and bring this structure into all the content um, just to help channel some of these comments about things I should be making videos on or things I could be improving um, into a format that I can follow it up. Now, I don't expect the comments to stop uh, concluding suggestions. I of course, monitor them all the time. So uh, don't stop doing what you do naturally. I'm just trying to give a more structured place for those people who want it um, to sort of give me feedback. Um, and so, yeah, look out for that. Um, I think it's a pretty important step to just try and um, create a better place. Um, if you can think of a better way to do this, then by all means, let me know. Um, but other than that, yeah, I just wanted to share this as the kind of thing I can think about when obviously you can't make content because my voice sounds like I've been in a jazz bar for about five years. So <laughs> uh, thanks for watching and listening to my croaky voice and I'll catch you in the next video.